the shelter in place orders caused by COVID-19, the way that you find your new dream home has changed. How's it going everyone? My name is Kevin Cruz and this is Gillian Aradaza with Kinetic Real Estate. Hi everyone. So today um, we're going to be discussing a couple topics. I'm sure everyone is sort of um, wondering, for example, how is COVID affecting your business mm -hmm. and your personal life? Uh, what solutions are we bringing to our sellers and our buyers? Um, now that real estate is considered an essential business, what does that mean for us? And also we have a care package that we're kind of bringing as another solution and alternative to make sure that we're staying safe and healthy. And then at the end, I think, Kevin, you have a few um, just insights about what's yeah. going on overall in the real estate market. To start off, how is COVID affecting you? How is it affecting your business? Is it changing like anything from the time that you wake up to your kids or whatever it may be? <laughs> well, um, as you guys know, uh, Zoom, uh, FaceTime, mm -hmm. Instagram, uh, video Instagram, all this, uh, we're so blessed that uh, this technology is uh, up to par. And now uh, we get, the, you know, can, can you just imagine uh, like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, we didn't have this and this <laughs> pandemic happened, right. like we'll be screwed, you know, but now with this technology, we can still practice our real estate. Overall, in terms of my schedule, in terms of personal, well, you know, our children, uh, you have, you know, your daughter, they don't have any school, they don't have school right now. And I think it's going to be, you know, so I don't know. So sure, I feel like not just our, us, I think we're just being affected in the same way as, you know, obviously being shelter in place, mm -hmm. staying home. Um, me personally, I'm waking up a little later, but I'm also staying up a little later. Uh, in terms of business, I'm utilizing technology more. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So technology is key right now. Um, but overall, um, it, it affected us a little bit, personally me. Uh, but I still have a lot of clients who are extremely optimistic. Um, optimistic. How many of, of your buyers and sellers, how would you say, of your buyers? I think... Um, who uh, is still looking and who has stopped their search? I think percentage-wise, uh, the people who stop searching is about 40%. And 60% are actually, uh, you know, st very optimistic. And some of them are, some of them are new clients. Like right. I'm getting about <clears throat> three to seven new clients per week right now the, who are pretty serious about buying. However, we have to follow standard protocol yeah. in terms of the new real estate. When it comes to listings, uh, I'm getting about one a week right now. Uh, although some of the listings that I have right now are owner occupied. So we have to follow, you know, safety precautions and we cannot just show the house right. yet. So we have to put a pause in it and we're trying to figure out a solution on what to do about it. Uh, but for the ones that are vacant, we are dealing with it pretty good. We're actually still renovating properties. Uh, re we have a few projects right now we're renovating, like yeah. that are owner uh, that are uh, vacant, mm -hmm. and uh, that's gonna come on the market pretty soon. Yeah, I mean, just as far as like a affecting our business, to be quite honest with you, we're, we're still doing the same activities on a daily Absolutely. basis. Um, we're fortunate enough to have kind of our own office where no one else is kind of, uh, we can still keep our social distance. There's only about four people really here on a daily, which is you, I, our other teammates. Um, and that's really it. So of course, everything is standstill right now as far as like the market. Yeah. But I would say affecting our business, we're just using this as an opportunity for more follow-ups, more exactly. um, touches with our clients. Yes, so, yeah. uh, to piggyback on that, uh, one thing that you know, I teach uh, our team is you know, just double down on calls, triple down on listing calls, and quadruple down with compassion. To be sincere, you wanna be real and, and just Yeah, let I them think know. we have, have been, just, we've been just really checking in. Um, I would recommend that because you never know if someone in your, your friends or sphere or something is going through uh, this pandemic personally. So just really getting in touch with people that we haven't got a chance yep. to because we've been so busy. What solutions are you bringing to your sellers and buyers? Um, good question. Uh, biggest solution we have, this couple, number one is uh, we're definitely going to implement a 3D Matterport, like a 3D tour of the property. Technology has that now, which is insane. Mm -hmm. uh, number two is private showings we can no longer host any open houses because you know right. it's cannot have any you know less than cannot have more than 10 people so no more open houses and i feel like this is going to happen for a while 
So we're going to do private showings now. Uh, we're definitely going to do a virtual uh, home staging. So virtual home staging. Uh, and we want to make didn't, We've never done that. We have before, never done so that. I'm pretty excited yeah. about that too. Personally, we have two warehouses right now uh, full of furniture. So we can stage about 30 to 40 homes right now. Uh, but as of right now, for homes that are at least owner occupied, we, we will do virtual staging moving forward. So they can, the prospective buyer can see how their home can look like. Right. And they can, the sellers can stay put. Yes. Um, I mean, they have nowhere to go, obviously. It's Correct. It's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. Cool. What about for your buyers? What are you doing? What, what solution are you bringing for your buyers? Let's say I'm a buyer. I have, I want to see this house like today. Today, uh, well, first of all, uh, we have to look at the listing. Mm -hmm. it, uh, if it's owner occupied, you definitely have to set up an appointment in advance. Right. One thing that I experience uh, lately mm -hmm. and is in order for you to see the property, you have to show your letter of intent or you have wow. to show your pre-approval letter that you're a qualified buyer. Yeah. And you have to write an offer actually on some of them subject to visual inspection. So long story short, uh, the buyer cannot uh, our buyers, let's just say they're interested in a listing, they're not just, they're not just able to just see right. the property, especially if it's owner-occupied. They have to show them that the, they have, we have to show the seller that our buyer is qualified. Yeah. And, and uh, be, when they accept our offer, our offer is mm -hmm. good enough, it will, the, on the offer, it will state um, subject to visual yeah. inspection. So I, feel, I feel like that's a better way too because I feel yeah. like, a, you know, open houses, we have a lot of like neighbors that are not qualified or not really looking. They just want to see in the house or like people just come in and out of houses. Now that we have more kind of like a criteria or listing agents are putting more of a criteria to see a house for like our buyers. They have to be really serious, right? And I feel like Absolutely. that's gonna, I, um, I, I not waste a lot of time. I hundred percent agree. I yeah. I think that is the that is that that is the best way. You know, we don't yeah. we we just really want to make sure everybody is safe. At this, yeah. At, at this point. Of course, we are still putting ourselves at risk, showing the property or like even virtual tours coming out of our own homes and shelters. Um, I think we have to take every precautionary step and being pre-approved, pre-qualified, things like that. Mm -hmm. And exactly. even in offers, like you can kind of see how um, serious someone is. Yeah, that's true. And I, I agree. I really like the system. Uh, you know, I'm pretty optimistic yeah. about everything. I'm sure you are also with everything that's happening right now. And we're just honestly really extre extremely blessed that uh, real estate is, consider is considered as an essential business. Yeah. Yeah. So, which leads me to my next question. So as of late March, um, as we all know now, Real estate has been considered an essential business. Yes. Thank God. Yeah. You know, um, so what, as a business owner yourself, what, what are your thoughts about that? Pros, cons? Well, first of all, uh, I, we are extremely blessed that real estate is considered essential. It just happened like- It truly is. Like five days ago. Yeah. Uh, this past few weeks, we're like running around circles, uh, talking to our clients, trying to figure out what to do. And I'm sure we're How not only navigate, real estate yeah. agents who feels that this way. This is a whole nationwide. We're like kind of sitting in limbo, like what we can and cannot do, um, do yeah. not get stopped. Yeah, but uh, I think the pros is uh, California Association of Realtors, National Association of Realtors, they came up with a rule book. It's kind of like a, the new normal way of doing real estate. Mm -hmm. Just gonna send it your way. If you're interested, please email, message us, or call us, and we'll send it to our link as well on this video. But one of the most important things that they talked about is mainly the safety. You know, being Definitely. six feet apart, you gotta have certain, uh, certain tools. Uh, can you show, uh, can you bring up tools real quick? Yeah. Tools and uh, the stimulus, uh, our stimulus pack. Yes, um, before we go into this though, I think we both sympathize for a lot of the um, local businesses. Absolutely. Uh, the service industries, people who are being affected, affected negatively with, you know, this COVID. Um, we encourage you to reach out to people, you know, who would know kind of some reliefs. Yes. Um, whether it's rent reliefs, forbearance, things like that. Correct, yes. Um, uh, but make sure to do your research. I think yeah. there's a lot of like, um, unqualified articles and so just make sure to do your research on that mm -hmm. and I have to piggyback on that as well uh, personally uh, I've studied relief and uh, all these things that they're doing so please feel free to reach out to me uh, it took me four days to study this I'm talking like five to eight hour days and I filled up a few applications already myself uh, for other companies that uh, that that I'm operating 
So, yeah. but yeah, moving forward, uh, this is one of the most important things that talks about on that. Uh, the new normal way of real estate, having gloves on, uh, having gloves, uh, having uh, some type of mask. Uh, this is a N95 mask. And uh, three, those uh, are not like available just at, I mean, those right now, they're saying that it's super um, hard to come by. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, shoe booties, we respect the, you know, the owner's house, even though whether it's vacant or, whether it's vacant or owner occupied, wear shoe booties, extra protection. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that we do is uh, we bring disinfected wipes uh, for our listings and for our buyers. So before the client walks in there, we want to make sure we wipe the, the doorknob, we wipe the lock box. And uh, we want to make sure that we open, you know, we, we turn on, on the lights. So that way, as soon as the buy, our buyer comes in there to see the home, we're going to be six feet apart or six right. feet uh, away Just already from there. Just prepare yourselves. Yeah. What I did the other day, I um, actually did all that before the buyer came opened up all the doors, cabinets, things like that, that would a, a normal buyer would just be, you know, inclined to open. So just, I mean, that'll just protect you more. And safety. Absolutely. Safety is everything. So that list, I'm going to, that rule book, we're going to, you know, that you're interested, if you want to see it, we more than have to share it, that, that it just talks about ex like how to be as safe as possible with everything. So like I mentioned earlier, we're extremely blessed and uh, yeah. Yeah, so we just wanted to leave you with kind of our thoughts on what's going on in the market and things like that. We appreciate you for tuning in. Um, do you have any last minute? We want to say uh, we appreciate uh, everything, especially uh, we are essential business. Um, one thing uh, I want to bring up is uh, I feel like this pandemic happening right now, even though when, even after everybody's back to normal, right? I feel like uh, the new normal of way of doing real estate is uh, with technology now. Mm -hmm. I feel like uh, I don't think there's going to be open houses anytime soon. So we're doing everything the best we can right. to make sure we up with technology such as the 3D Matterport. We just want to advance as much as possible. Uh, and and deliver the same service. Deliver the same much. service, exactly. And uh, we're doing everything we can. And uh, to be honest with you guys, uh, I've been working uh, a lot more. Personally, I've been working a lot more and spending a lot more hours. Uh, I know a lot of people are a lot of people are chilling, you know. Mm -hmm. But for us, uh, we're actually working three this times harder, mm -hmm. three times harder, trying to figure out how to advance to make sure all our clients, friends, and family are taken care of. I think we're super optimistic. Um, I'm pretty hopeful with what's next to come. Yes. Uh, just interviewing, not interviewing, but talking to our experienced lenders, our realtors that's mm -hmm. been through the past really big recession um it keeps me optimistic because they in fact don't feel like it's been as a big impact like it was before yeah so like i said just business as usual business as usual for us uh please reach out to us anytime uh we're working really hard to make sure everything works for everybody and want everybody we want everybody to be happy but yeah thank you thank you